Hello everyone, it's me Benson and today I want to read you a story. I hope you're ready for a story, are you? Oh brilliant, okay, well this one is called The Tortoise and the Hare. Maybe you've heard of it, it's one of my favourites. <coughs> are you sitting comfortably? Are you ready? Right, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a hare who would boast all day long about how fast he was. He spent all his time telling anyone and everyone and would even laugh at the poor tortoise who was very slow. One day, tired of all the hare's boasting, the tortoise stretched out her long neck and challenged the hare to a race. This made the hare laugh. <laughs> my, 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 what a joke, thought the hare. A race, indeed, a race. Oh, <laughs> what fun. Mrs. Tortoise, we shall race, said the hare. The forest animals met and mapped out the course and the race began. The hare being such a swift runner, soon left the tortoise far behind. About halfway through the course, it occurred to the hare that he had plenty of time to beat the slow trodden tortoise. Oh my, thought the hare, I've plenty of time to play in the meadow. And so he did. And after the hare finished playing, he decided that he still had time to take a little nap. I've plenty of time to beat that tortoise, he thought, and he cuddled up against a tree and dozed. The tortoise, in the meantime, continued to plod on, albeit ever so slowly. She never stopped, but took one good step after another. The hare finally woke from his nap. <sighs> time to get going, he thought and off he went, faster than he had ever run before. He dashed as quickly as anyone ever could up to the finish line, where he met the tortoise, who was patiently waiting his arrival. <laughs> so the tortoise won the race. Ah, oh, just shows you, slow and steady. That's the way to do it, everyone. That's one of my faves. I wonder if any of you have got a tortoise at home. Or maybe a hare in your garden or something. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me for that story. I'll see you again soon, I hope. Lots of love from me, Benson. Bye, everyone. Bye.